All right, so this is the monthly chart on Archer Aviation. And some key levels to note, you have the bottom at $2. You have medium term resistance at $7.50. And you have the IPO opening at $10, which was support. It's now major resistance. Scrolling down to the weekly chart, as I've stated in multiple videos in the past, uh, price did respect this weekly bias level at $4.50. And price is on the verge of closing above this major support resistance level at about $5.15. So all good, right? And now let's look into the fundamentals because there's some good news on the fundamental front as well. This is coming from InvestorPlace.com, Archer Stock. Archer Aviation teams up with Beta Technologies on EVATOL charging. So addressing a critical vulnerability in the EVATOL industry, Archer Aviation has inked a fast charging infrastructure partnership with Beta Technologies. An electric aerospace firm that develops charging systems. According to a press release, the agreement between Archer and Beta represents an industry first to accelerate the rollout of an inoperable fast charging system across the electric aircraft industry. Specifically, Archer is utilizing two of Beta's charge cube systems at Archer's flight test facilities, as well as a number of Beta's mini cube mobile charging systems, which Archer plans to rapidly deploy as needed. So this is a good move for Archer Aviations and, you know, kind of puts them in the lead uh, against the competitors at the moment. Notably, Beta Systems use the combined charging standard, a type of charging connector for EVs that favor in North America and Europe. Just as importantly, the company's charging solutions are already in use at 14 locations across the eastern U.S. And work is underway to install them at another 55 locations along the east and uh, Gulf Coast. Fast charging is critical to ensure rapid turnaround times between flights, explains Adam Goldstein, Archer Founders and CEO. A widespread fast charging system is critical to ensuring electric air taxi reaches scale in the coming years. And this collaboration between two industry leaders is an exciting step towards achieving that. While Archer Stock has only moved up modestly today, it has been on the move over the past five sessions. We'll look at that. Gaining roughly 4% of equity value, and there's a reason why, right? Price just came into that weekly bias level at $4.50 and has been moving higher. With the development and proliferation of fast charging networks for EVATOLs, it's possible that this recent move may attract additional investor dollars. Ah, the question is, is Kathy Woods going to buy more as she's already got a hand in the company um, started moving aggressively over the last couple of months all right so let's go to back to the charts and let's look at this level on the daily chart all right so I'm really liking the uh, the price action Again, this is where uh, we had a gap higher back in late July on huge volume. And when price came back, um, you had some unfilled remaining orders that were filled. Uh, but we only got as high as $5.60. Um, you know, you can say you have this little uh, resistance level, which was support, right? Support now resistance. Uh, what's nice about the daily chart is you have the 200 day moving average kind of slowly creeping up um, and once it gets into this zone uh, should, this zone should continue to hold um, now yeah she penetrated the zone deeper 100% um, so if price was to return this level may not hold but you do have the 200 day moving average serving as um, a backup for support now here's what I like you have this W pattern that was formed uh, which is a bullish reversal pattern and so if you 
get a breach and a close above this five dollars and say sixty cent level in theory what should happen is price should come up retest that which is the apex of that W and then move higher right so uh, going into next year um, I think prices uh, will rise and um, I'm targeting the seven dollars and forty cent as the next um, price level again once and if price breaches and close above the five dollars and sixty cent level um, in particular on the weekly chart thanks for watching subscribe please like the video